How is everybody doing? Ah, oh, boy. Feeling like a potato. Just ate a big ass thing of mac and cheese. And some chicken and waffles. Oof. I am, I'm ready. I am, uh, I'm full. I'm ready to pop, basically. So, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, Monster Hunter. Namely because we got Behemoth coming out on Friday, and I'm not sure when I could get to it this week, so I want to make sure that all of my sets are up to date, prepped, ready to go. I do a little bit of Arch Tempered Val, we'll see. Get this uh, session ID up real fast. Seat. I'm. Uh, oops. Right. So right now, let me see here. This is what I was working with. Now I need some. I wanted to work a earplug gem into this. Not sure what else would really round out this switch X set. This is the one I'm going to work on first. So I'll pull up a list here too. But right now, this is the current build. And this is pretty, I'd say this is pretty uh, well rounded out for a swag axe build. And we got the attack, we got the handicrafted 4 to get the white sharpness. Um, Vedic Steiner, Peak Performance, Weakness, Exploit, Protective Polish, Tonal Metal Boost, but I'd like to work in, let me see, Attack Boost. I'd like to work in Earplugs, level 1 if I can, so that I don't get kicked off via Roar if I'm discharging. So, I'm going to punch this into my Mix Set Generator and see what I'm missing here, if there's something I can do. Because now that we got... Uh, Arch Tempered Val, I might be able to mix this setup in a way that everything works out. Let's see. Elemental Protective Polish. Let's see. Have you taken on ATZ? No, I haven't. I pretty much, I play almost exclusively on PC now. Um, you know, I just didn't want to, I didn't want to go and, and switch back and forth and all that. Finally bought the Switch, this generation ultimate's worth it. I liked it a lot. And Court Exo, 25 month, thank you for that. Um, but yeah, Generations Ultimate, like... I have more hour out of all of the titles I have on Switch. I have the most spent in Generations Ultimate. It is a uh, it is a very very solid combination. Um, let's see. I know Empress Crown B. I'm gonna keep it's Empress Crown B. I'm getting Bait Extender and a three and a two. So nothing is going to beat that out. Other titles other than Zelda Smash and Odyssey. Um, honestly, I think Diablo on the Switch is the best it's ever been. Like, if you've played Diablo on PC and you enjoyed it, it is way better on the Switch. So I'd have to drop out my Handicraft, I'm assuming. Or where else could I get an earplug? Damn it, it's a Handicraft necklace. Drop my handicraft down a level, and then I'd lose white sharpness. But if I lost white sharpness, what if I. No, sharpness is big. What do you guys think? Would losing white sharpness be worth getting a bunch of agitator? I mean, there's a Pokemon Let's Go. You can get that. I think the Agi necklace is only two, correct? Yeah, which is trash. Nobody wants two agitator. It's doogie. 
take attack boost. Three attack. I take three attack. Go th I gotta go seven attack and earplugs. This one was watching your Dark Souls 3 playthrough. I'm surprised to see the amount of people that refuse to acknowledge that the game is shit and think you're overreacting. Dude, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I made my, uh, my comment on there. I was like, you know what? This is some final thoughts, and that's it. I'm probably not even going to go back to the video anymore and read comments. Too many people are, are upset about it and trying to defend it. Like, it, it really just, it's not that good. It's not that good. And people are like, it's not that. You're over-exaggerating. I'm like, no, I'm really not. <laughs> this, this isn't a good game. Like, let's, let's, let's be real here. Not that good of a game. Never hunted a Devil Joe with a swag axe. I wonder how that would go. New crit build or the toast? Um, I mean, this is this is a new switch axe build that I put together the last time we streamed, but I haven't really like like fleshed it out completely. Um, so main things I need I need the other the things here. And it thunder, ice, water, fire. A lot of the stuff doesn't. It's not needed. I need. I need the good shit. You know. Where's the good shit? That's what I need. Give me the good shit. Tried hunting pickle with sword and shield. I like sword and shield a lot in this game. Um, and Ashton's going really well. I just got past the third boss, which was a little weird. Her hitbox was a little fucky, um, but ultimately I was victorious. First attempt, mind you. I will say it feels it feels like uh, Souls Light in a sense. Like I haven't actually, I haven't lost to a boss yet in Ashen, which I don't know if it's just you know the sheer amount of experience I have playing games like that. Oh dear, handler. Oh god, that's right. This mission. I remember this. Oh boy, here we, here we go. That was such a dumb quest. She's running around like, hmm. I will categorize everything. Sinner, dude, Sinner is bad. I would not even. Don't waste time with Sinner. No. Like if you want, if you want a Souls-like experience, get Ashen. Ashen is actually a solid game, and it's priced at, at forty bucks. I'd say that's a good price for what it is. Not sure how much longer it is. Are there English dubs for this game? Yeah, of course. I just got tired of hearing him talk, so I have it on Monster Hunter language right now. Because the, uh, some of the, the stuff... Yeah, it's just, it's just, yeah. Like, my whole first playthrough I had in English. I was like, oh my god, Handler, stop talking. <clears throat> like, the Handler is up there for my most hated NPC character of all time. But I've installed mods to, like, give her chubby cheeks and all kinds of other shit. Makes her less irritating. He's out here picking up mushrooms and shit.
No, you're not hitting me with the joggers. Drop it. Drop the joggers. So used to playing GU, I forgot. I was really in a pickle and you kept me from being actually in a pickle. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So funny. Beat your ass, Devil Joe. You don't even know what's happening. like that to the face? You like that to the face, devil fucker? Come here. Show you what Big Daddy Swag Axe can do. Deploying the sword mode mid-jump to apply more damage in aerial. Check. Oh, yeah, that does a lot. I'm about to get me a second mount. Oh, 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 oh. Stop with the body checks, man. That ain't cool. Stay right there, you big, ugly bastard. Oh, nope. He came around. He doing the Devil Joe shuffle. Come here. You want to go back on the ground? Get, get your ass back on the ground. Come here. Jumping around. I'm swagger to swagger to big old devil joke. Look at this mess, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take my sword, put it inside of his pudding. I'm gonna put this in there. Give you a vasectomy. Yo, he's no, oh my god. He didn't, that didn't knock him to the ground. Okay, that's a first. I've never been able to get off a full discharge and repeat it. But, uh, you know, if that's what you want, we can make it happen. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Nope, yeah, nope. We're gonna have to. Is he running? I mean, he's actually pretty low. Looking at his health, I got him down to 3,400 out of 8,800. So this is coming along pretty quick.
drop it. You know, when you think of Devil Joe as just like a big dumb Saint Bernard, he stops being as frightening. This new this new swag set is good, like really good. Like he can't connect his attacks really. No, I don't have sharpened weapon on, but hang on, I gotta, I gotta catch this, this big, oh, big luck before he gets too much farther. Oh god, he's so close to being dead. Got, I got like one good combo on him and he's done probably. Where are you going? Where the hell are you going? may be like a new speed record for me for uh, killing Devil Joe. Like when we were fighting him on uh, we were fighting him on, on uh, PS4, I never took him out that fast. Damage of this set is real. Yeah, 1035 on Devil Show. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I think my Switch Axe set is definitely ready for Behemoth. Could probably use a little bit of refashioning, but... Technically, I can make it a little bit stronger. PC, uh, like a hundred hours, maybe. Improve mental. So the real question here is uh, the only thing until until we start seeing um, like I need uh, 
Arch Tempered, Lunastra, and whatnot. Until that, I could swap out the Cove to Roth Pants. Now, these have a uh, peak, two, and a one, and then wide range. I could instead go for. Um, did I not craft them? I thought I crafted them. Maybe I didn't. Let me go grab them. Actually, maybe. Did I? Let me see. The uh, tempered, arch tempered pants for Balhazak, I believe, compare. How long have you been playing on PC? I haven't caught any of your past PC streams. Um, pretty much like the last. Since it came out on PC, every stream I've done has been PC. Me. Oh, I thought I crafted them. Maybe I didn't? I could have sworn I went and I crafted them along with the uh, Kieran set, but I'm not fucking seeing them. That's shitty. Second then, I'm gonna... I'll probably just reboot to pick up those tickets. I had those tickets. And then they fucking vanished on me. Son of a bitch, game. Uh, let's see, Monster Hunter World... Hang on, I gotta get these tickets. Oh, it's not like anybody joined the lobby yet, anyway. Uh, let's see. Native, common, facility. Uh, rebooting it now. I'm doing good, bun. Just going ahead and editing. So one of the biggest things about going to PC from PlayStation is you don't need to to re-go through everything. Like right now I got, I'm changing a file and it'll make it so uh, in the shop I'll be able to just buy the shit that I want. Like instead of having to go through and fight Arch-Tempered Valhazak five times for his tickets, I'll just literally buy them off the merchant and make the parts of his gear that I want. And I'll keep doing that until I'm caught up on... It's not quite a save editor, it's just a mod that changes what the guy sells. So it, it goes through like four different pages, like there's a page... Like basically when I when I got when I did PC, I what I did Ray Fox with that ten month. Uh what I did to help catch up was basically get everything that I had on uh PS4. I just used like an infinite money thing and then I go here. You could say like, you could even buy the gems you needed. So like I basically got everything everything that I would have had on PC or on a uh, PlayStation. I came and I bought here. I'll get five of those tickets, and then five of the Valhazak tickets. Like, there's even stuff for for this is for Arch Tempered Tio, Arch Tempered Kushala, Arch Tempered Zora, Arch Tempered Xenojiva. That stuff's not on PC yet, but they've already added the tickets in. And um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, until I will I will buy stuff up through Behemoth. After Behemoth, I'll stop just buying tickets because you know, then I'll be caught up to where I was at on PS4. But yeah, basically, I've, I mean, every every monster part I needed, every fucking gem I needed, you know, after spending 400 and some hours on uh, PS4, I wasn't going to refarm all of that shit. Especially when you can just get it here. It's so much easier. So much easier. Uh, just go to the Nexus. Nexus has them. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and craft this stuff up. Like, like upgrade mats for armor. I had, like, I bought ton. You can buy those. I guess, but what guarantees you won't get banned? Um, the fact I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> like, what what are they gonna do? Like, they're gonna ban my account and and you know for what for what reason? For using mods when they they said if, it'd be one thing if Capcom said no mods. Capcom never said no mods. So, you know, that's that's where we stand. If Capcom had been like, you know, 
mods are not okay, I'd be like, oh, okay, well, I understand. But that never happened. Like, Azure Star-Lord. I have the full Azure Star-Lord set on PC. Which is awesome. Because, uh, fuck waiting for that shit. Anyway, so what do you guys think between this? Uh, my, my, my real choice here is Kulv Taroth leggings or, uh, where they go? where they go? Or Hazak leggings. So they both offer the same thing, basically. I would get, I would get recovery speed, which could be nice. Um, you know, double the speed that I'm healing. Or if I keep this on, I have wide range. So a li oh you can't buy you can't also well, alright this is this is an interesting one fish. You can't buy KT weapons, but what you can do is buy the sublimated weapons and then do a KT quest. So I basically got every KT weapon I wanted and what I ended up doing this was fucking fun. This was spicy to do. Watch this. You go to him, uh, and then you buy yeah. Right here. Sublimated weapon rarity six. Appraised after investigation. I bought like 200 of these. And then you go do a uh, Kulp Taroth. You do one run. Not even a full run. Like one, you know, 15 minute run. And then um, you leave the lobby. When you come back in the lobby, it closes the investigation and it identifies every single sublimated weapon that you bought. So, with doing that, I managed to get the, uh, let me sort some stuff out here, let's see. I got the uh, Terith Dagger's Horn, so the best, these are the best uh, raw damage dual blades in the game. Um, I got the Buster Sleep, the normal level four. I got the Buster Four, the wide level four. I think there's a long... Is there a long level 4? I'm trying to remember if there was. Um, but yeah, so so normal 4, wide 4. Um, Terith Axe Horn, which is god tier. It's even... It's, it's basically... You can see it's Axe of Demons, except I can double augment it. I have... I lose one gem slot. I gain 10 defense and double augmentation. So straight upgrade there. Uh, Terith Strong Arm Horn, which is basically the same as the Diablo Tyrannus, except... Uh, 10 more defense on it, and and uh, that's it. Just 10 less defense. Um, what else did I get? I got this. I don't know if that's any good, but the 390 ice, the 360 water. Um, that's 240 ice, so it probably is. Uh, what else did we get off of it? Uh, this bad boy, the ice water one, which this is... How did I get this? So there was some reason for this. I think it was the seven water, seven freeze. Or it was something. I don't remember why, but I kept that one for some reason. There's the blast one, which is the sticky ammo. Sticky ammo, Weber and snipe cannon. The glutton. Which one's the glutton? The glutton. Okay, this is your spread shotgun one. That's your shotgun. And then I got some of the bows. The thunder bow, 360 thunder, 390 water. 390 ice, 330 dragon, and uh, that's obviously the coil bender, which I'll probably get rid of that to be honest. Coil bender's just not worth it anymore. Um, thunder stream, woohoo! Yeah, exactly. Why stop at 200? I mean, that was enough to to get everything I needed basically, but you could definitely go longer. Nothing to say you can't. Uh, let me. I think I will go for the recovery speed. Is probably worth it. So let's do that. And then, um, need my sharp. Back to polish. You are sharp. I could technically pick up the, uh, the earplug, but I'm like, uh, do I, do I want it that bad? What do you guys think between... So how how we have um where's my, where's my um how we get level four earplugs when we're stabbing a monster, I could p 
pick that up and drop Evade Extender down to level 2. What do you guys think about that? How do we feel about Evade Extender 2? And then here I could do the earplugs. And that way when I, I'm in a monster, a roar won't knock me off. I mean, Evade Extender 2 is probably worth it. I'd say 3, three is usually overkill, I think, by most people, right? I think this is a good call. Now, the, the hard thing here is doing something with this armor. Just doesn't look good. I gotta have the fucking... It's because of the arms, you know? It's because of the goddamn arms. Just give me full-blown transmog, Monster Hunter. I mean, there's mods for that, but yeah, these arms, they just don't fit. The color scheme's just not, not doing it. But anyway, I'm, I'm very happy with this mix set. This mix set does... Uh, it, it does work, for sure. Let me just go these to defaults. I mean, my problem with layered is if I layer the arms into something, and then, like, so I feel layered should save per set, and it doesn't, basically. Like, if I put on the samurai arms right now, and then I switch to a completely different set, I'm still stuck with the samurai arms, and that really irritates me. I gotta augment this. I didn't even augment this. Oh my god. This is gonna be so much spicier than it was. Oh no, I did. Never mind. For some reason I thought I didn't. Yeah, lady, I got some stuff for you. Namely, um... That's weird. Is this a different one than the one I'm using, I guess? It's an extra one. That's why. Don't need Axe of Demons anymore. Um, don't need you anymore. 6.15. How's it feel to be back to the old 9 to 5? I, I, I like it. I like having a job. Just a regular, standard, run-of-the-mill job. It's, it's, uh... I don't know. To me, it provides my life with a sense of stability that I really appreciate. Swagamus. Alright, this is it, boys. This is... Here we go. This is the best Switch Axe set in the game right now. On PC, at least. I mean, I could probably make it better. I was looking at... Um, when I was looking at the mixed set thing, there were some things... Uh, There was um, a variant where if you have the uh, Lunastra Gamma, you can get... Like, so with, with Draken and Kushala, I could have this same set that I'm running right now, but like two points in Critical Eye. Um, there was one variant that had some points into Agitator, I think it was. Let me see. Let me, let me put Agitator to two. Or let me see if I can get Agi 3. Just for shits and giggles. Yep, exactly. Too many benefits. Ready for Iceborne? I mean, my dude, we, we are a while away from that. <laughs> like, a very long time. So, in terms of... What we have now, Empress, Shala Kushala. I don't see it now. So the only thing that looks comparable, which I don't think I would actually do that swap, is because this you're getting stamina cap up, whereas the uh, it's a three piece. So you could get two points critical eye with. Uh, Kushala Gamma. Three pieces, Kushala. You'd have two piece Kushala, Drake, and Empress. Yeah, but nobody wants Nullify Wind Pressure. So I'd say because of the stamina cap up, this is probably the best set, I think. I might have to do an updated build video on it. 
Different pick. <laughs> Playing Monster Hunter for you? Oh god. Yeah, that's the old school stuff. Pretty soon there'll be a mod to get all the Iceborne stuff before we release. I don't know about that. I think there's there's a lot of uh, a lot of shit that's not in the game. Um, here for people that want to see all the skills. The only thing not showing, of course, is stamina cap up. So the main things here, we get attack boost to 4, which gives us the attack and the crit. Handicraft to 4 is giving us white sharpness with Terathax horn. Weakness exploit to 3. Peak performance to 3. Comboed with the health regen augmentation is like a static 20 attack. Evade extended to 2 to dodge everything. Earplugs to level 1, so that when we're doing our discharge, it's earplugs level 5. Recovery speed is there just because we use 1 point speed sharpening along with weight fin skin plus which counts as level three and then protective polish and non-elemental boost bring a hunter arts to iceborne update or is it a long shot Give me the booty, I want the booty. couldn't find room for the last evade extender no yeah basically for the latest evade extender um when i switched to valhazat gamma i was able to slide in the earplugs so if i could drop the one point in the earplug and have evade extender but that's the decision you got to make and honestly two evade extender is fine John Cena's uncle with that 10 month sub hype coming on in though. But let's do uh, do a couple more hunts. Um, if anyone wants to join, let me get the let me get the code back up here. Since we edited it com ID three P C M T X H Z. You have all the AT monster gear and not all the AT monsters are available, so therefore it's entirely possible for that to happen. Wait, what what are you saying, Bub? You realize Iceborne is going to be like all new monsters and shit, like the skeletons for those monsters aren't even in the game, is what I'm saying. There's there's no way that we're going to see mods add shit in. Like mods have done a lot, but mods haven't created monsters from scratch. Gear is one thing. Monsters from scratch is completely different. Hmm. Maybe the fat handler mod doesn't work. Oh, you know what? It's probably because he's in her winter outfit. They turned off fat handler. Remorse, no surrender. Is PC your main account now? Yeah, basically. There's just too much goodness on PC that we don't have uh, access to playing on the other platforms. Like, I mean, perfect example, dude. I I spent four or five hundred hours playing on uh, four or five hundred hours playing on PlayStation. Never saw an attack gem ever. And then there were the rumors that loot was seeded, and I was kind of like, well. Whether that is or isn't the case, regardless, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna just mindlessly grind and not get loot. Like there were, and there were a lot of really big quality of life changes that PC brought to the table, like being able to meld higher end gems. Like you can meld a critical boost gem. It costs a buttload to meld it, but you can meld it on PC, and that's an amazing quality of life change because you shouldn't be punished. Uh, my personal opinion is that in a game, any grindy game, it doesn't matter what it is, Warframe, Diablo, Neo, Monster Hunter, you should never be punished where the only way to get something is RNG. You should be able to eventually get that item uh, through alternative means. You know, it might take a hundred hours of playing the game to get the sword you want but if the sword never drops randomly you should be be able to collect enough of like you know scrap parts off of a creature to eventually get the sword or whatever oh boy i don't know oh man teo you just bumped them up to twenty thousand health i hope we got two more coming in or this is going to be fucking brutal this is about to be bad news fucking bears all right we need two more people to join this lobby immediately Otherwise, we're fucked.
Multiplayer Lunastra has 20,122 health. That sink in. 20 fucking thousand health. Astra. Getting out the poo poo. Face full of shit. Get a face full of shit. Give him Lunastra a face full of shit. How many poops do I gotta hit you with before you fuck off? Okay, this is why we don't join missions in the playthrough. Because now there's two of us, and they have, between the two of them, 36,000 health. And I can't get them to leave via poop bots. Chunks just healing me, man. Thank you. 
fucking Lunastra. How do I rate this game? 9 out of 10. Hey! Let's roll them biddies. Please leave me alone, Lunastra. He wants to fight you. I still gotta get my, like, my other, uh... My other things, like my, uh... I don't have rock steady. I don't have the thing that lets you uh the uh the gold the glimmer mantle that lets you just avoid shit. I don't have that. I don't have a lot of this stuff on PC that I need to get. There we go. We got a third in here. Those curious next Friday I will be doing Behemoth lobbies. In the Behemoth lobby, obviously you need to be on PC. You also need to have Discord installed. You don't gotta have a microphone, but you need to be in the channel to listen to commands that are being called in. In your face! Ultimate to discharge you! Oh wow, yeah, this game is quite loud. Looking at the the stuff. Hang on a second. Options. Audio. Pull us down to about 80. All right, that looks a little bit better. Uh, I said that we will be doing Behemoth runs on PC next Friday. If you want to join, you have to have Discord. Because I'm not going to sit there and be like, you know, when I call out, it's time to get behind the rock, people need to get behind the fucking rock. Like, Behemoth is literally not a hard fight at all if people coordinate. What do you recommend for all-purpose insect glaive? Um, I don't really like all-purpose insect glaive, to be honest. I've grown very fond of elemental insect glaive. If you have draken, that's the obvious choice. If you don't have draken available, uh, oh my god, you're fucking fire. Eat you, Lanastra, you stupid board. Uh, if you don't have draken, then it's really a, a bunch of custom stuff. with your fucking tail hitboxes. Oh my god, stop it! I hate that the hitbox from that is different than the hitbox of fucking Diostras. Like, it makes me unreasonably upset. That it's like the same fucking move, but it has a different hitbox. I do not have a wizard deck. Just land. Land so I can hit you. I'm also still unsure what I want to go elemental with. Waves don't do too bad for elementals, but bows are also really good from an elemental standpoint. I could also go for uh, do a blade elemental sense, but I don't know, something about insect glaive elemental is just fun. Good old Luna. Just 
kicking people off. JR Hudson with that sub height. Come on. Come on. Come out of the sky. Out thresholds being approached. You could probably get a mount on her. I'm sure she'll run away like a little bitch. Our mix sets super needed. Using Alpha Valhazak and Death Stench Legs, I want to move on to Behemoth or Arch Tempered. I mean, you don't need perfect mid sets, but yes, mix sets are needed. Like, you will not survive Behemoth with some half assed put together set. <laughs> Behemoth is, without question, when released, he'll be the hardest monster. Especially because he is totally about player coordination, which is not something you usually see in a game like this that doesn't have active communication. She's dead here. <laughs> Instant replay with the 18 month. Get any monsters for the Witcher crossover? I don't think they've announced whether or not we are yet. But. I mean, they could easily do like a Manticore, it's basically all Teostra is, you know. You and Luna are very similar to a Manticore. I think one of the, uh, uh, what are they called? The things that look like super ass buff deer things, I think those would be cool. But, I don't know. I don't know if they've announced one. I mean, Final Fantasy, we just got a set, and they added, uh... They gave uh, Final Fantasy Rathalos, which is cool. Got this tag. You ever, like, sit there and then you notice the tag? It's fucking itching you. Goddamn tag off my shirt. There we go. Ugh. Wasn't too bad. If we had everyone from the start, we could have done that probably sub 10. 
The spring event is the Witcher, so we might get things like the Arc Spore. Oh, we'll see. Alright, I need to figure out my next set that I want to put together. What is Rocksteady? Is Rocksteady HR related? I'm trying to remember. It's been that long. Like... Actually, I could, let me redo the audio levels on stuff here. Voices, voices are fine. Doing a state of cowboy year end. Yes. Well. 50, HR 50, then quest. What am I at even? I don't even know. I am, um, how do I see my own? I have, yeah, guild card. Recently played, where is my, hold on. Where the fuck is my guild card at? Yo. 41, all right, I might get that tonight. Four to five different tier two tempered. I mean, I've killed plenty of tier two tempered. Alright, um, anyway, I gotta, let me get back on track here, which is updating sets. That's the main purpose of this stream. So, uh, Heaven's Piercer. Let's take a look at this and see what we could do to improve upon it. So right now we got attack at 7, weakness at 3, max might, peak performance, health boost, special ammo, evade extender, piercing shot. Um, Empress Crown's not moving. Male is 2 peak performance, 3 attack. That's probably not changing either. This is peak performance. Attack true true, that's unlikely to change. This is 2 attack and then a level... Two slot. I could probably change that. This is health boost and two. A tenderizer and a mighty. Tenderizer and a mighty. Piercing and tenderizer. So instead of attack, attack, tenderizer. Do attack, attack. Or we could do tenderizer, tenderizer there. I wouldn't even need the third tenderizer. I don't need the health boost. But here I could do double tenderizer. Solve that problem. Then. I could take a tank. I mean, I could do that. I wouldn't have the mighty. Gotta be a better split here. <laughs> Peak performance, recovery speed. You can hit your hunter rank when you see the menu button. Oh, hunter rank 41. I see it. Yep. I, I never looked there, so. No, I did not. Um, let me punch this set in and see, see what the calculator comes up with for enhancements. Let's see, undeselect all here. Let's see, attack, attack should be seven, obviously. Uh, weakness exploit is three. Peak performance. I mean, this is already a really good set. Peak performance is three. Maximum might is three. Special ammo is two. Bait is two. Piercing shots. What else I would really add in here? Uh, probably. Maybe agitator. Agitator, maybe, just for that much more damage. Oh no, this is a really good set already. I don't think this needs any work. I think this is just, this is good. 
Just ID Chaytech. Shit, what did I used to have here? What did I what did I get rid of? Sir shotgun gun. Must have moved something. Uh, two guns. Range the tank up. Re suppression and shield. They changed. I'm gonna update the glutton set. Which I think is basically identical, except that I go with the Terrath Assault Glutton. I don't know what I want to do with the other ones, the other Terrath Assaults that everyone was like, Oh yeah, pick these up, they're good. Layered armor, yeah. Oh god. Ice water, like the blast. So the blast was for... This was for a sticky, a sticky bombing set. Yeah, because you could go sticky. You could focus around sticky. It's a n so it's a non-elemental. It looks like basically non-elemental bow gun, just to maximize your damage and then do a focus around sticky shot, which could be cool, gimmicky but cool. I can make I can make a fun set doing that. This is for my Pierce. This bad boy shotgun, which this is also non-elemental, huh? I don't know what the purpose of. Let's see, art snipe snipe snipe. That more than I like these two. Low deviation weapon sniper. I don't know what's what's so good about the ice water. Is it just the seven free seven water? I think the mod lets us get the USJ tickets. I already have USJ. You just you just buy them. First things first. Give me a shield. Second thing. Spread ammo three goes down to low. That's worth it. Deviation doesn't matter. Reload. What do you guys think here? Would I want fast reload? Would I want fa mm, fast reload and low recoil? Or would I want the close range up boost? Close range is pretty significant. Let me, let me take this out and see how I feel about it. This health regen is a really weird choice for weapons like this. Do you know which page? The last one. Anything like that is always the last page. Infinity... Oh, hold up, I already got weakness. I got 5 off attack, I got 30 off maximum might. So that's 35 affinity, 45 affinity. So I'm at 95 affinity with weakness exploits, so I don't want affinity at all. Affinity will be a complete and utter waste. Um, might as well go for attack. Infinity is useless, and then we'll go with health regen, I guess. Let's go over to here. I want to go to the training area, and I want to test this, test the reload versus the recoil, and see which is more manageable. This is super manageable. This is reload assist. This recoil doesn't even feel like it matters at all. I'm just, just walking and shooting. That's the speedy reload. 25 per shot to the face over and over. You gotta unlock augmentation. Are you telling me you don't have augmentation unlocked and you're talking about going after Behemoth? Please don't do that. I 
and it only affects one pellet of spread ammo. That sucks. What else would we use with this, though? You know, if we could do the affinity, it would give us 100% affinity. <laughs> um... Feels a little, I don't know, which of these do you guys think is better? I mean, the, the other recoil, I didn't feel like it was really an issue at all. This feels kind of the same. This is, what do we take? We took the recoil on it? Yeah, shield recoil in close range. Affinity and damage. Cove, Cove, Kieran, Cove, Dante. What is this set? You're running. Cove Assault Glutton. I have. Hang on. That set doesn't feel that good. Red shots. And wait, you have handicraft blight resist. Crit boost? I don't think crit boost really does that much. Close, close recoil. I mean, recoil didn't feel needed at all. I think I would go close, close shield reload. Recoil didn't feel needed. I'll go reload. Shield reload close. Happy bonus. This is the highest effect raw damage you can get on it. I don't think so, man. You're gonna get you're gonna get more damage going for peak performance over what was in that. Peak performance is going to be 20 damage. That's more than what you're seeing with Agitator. You don't need the extra crit for Agitator because you're already at 100%. Basically, like... I would take I would take peak performance, and I do need to work in non-elemental boost, though. Don't need reload speed for spread 3. I mean, the reload's nice. Close, close. Let me go test this. Doing 25 per shot before. per shot. I know it's normal reload, but you can go from normal to low is what I'm saying. You can always improve stuff, dude. Empress, Empress, Zeno, Nergi, Dante. Exclude equipment. Damn it. 
I would need Xeno Gamma to pull this off. Plus one, plus one, plus two. <laughs> Somewhere here, I gotta, I gotta drop something. I need non-elemental, so I think what I can do is take non-elemental here, and then augment on, instead of the attack, affinity. And then so I'm back at my 95% crit. I use a personal spreadsheet to calculate damage. Let's see. Minimal, but I'm getting 28s now. 27s before. I mean, all the transmog mods, don't they make you, uh... Don't they make you, uh... Set it up beforehand or something? I don't know. I haven't fucked with them at all. It just looked like they weren't done very well. When I started looking at them, it was like, Just change shit! Hooks into game! Runs in background! I was like, oh... Like, I'm not a big fan of running background stuff. hunt with this bad boy. I don't know if I want if that attack would help or not. I feel like it probably adds one more. Do I want to augment back to attack and see? That would be at the 85% chance crit, which is still absurdly high. I was doing, what was I doing before? 28? Let's check this. see what the weeklies are. This has potential to get better. But it needs, um... Looks like I need Arch-Tempered Xeno, basically. Because I would run Xeno Claws. Because they got a two-slot, a two-slot, and then a one-slot gem. Definitely gonna get my builds ready before G rank makes them irrelevant. I mean, I like to go in. Prepared. Whatever, fuck you, though. tickets I need some bushy tickets mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I need some Bushi tickets. You got any of those sitting around? Like 20 Bushis. Thanks, buddy. I mean, boss, to be fair, our G-Rank's like a fucking year away almost for PC. <laughs> if it ends up actually being G-Rank. What they said, but... Four, eight, nine. And a buttload of research points. <laughs> Getting 29 without any buffs with the build. The well, I'm getting 29 without any buffs with my build, so. Yeah. Well, there's a lot that don't make. Uh. Hey, damn it, you're missing the self healing. Oh. Actually, hold up, you don't even have. The fuck, dude, you don't even have a Vade extender on that build. Get out of here. A build would get your ass beat. You don't have a Vade extender, you don't have a shield. I have, I'm doing the same yeah. damage you are, but I have like twice as much survivability. Research points, own 24. Alright, let's see. Ancient Forest, Girototos, Anjanath, and General. Now, you say that, except, I mean, once you go and fight anything that's not a baby monster, you're gonna get them cheeks clapped. I'm just saying, man, you can't, like, this isn't min-max for damage. You need to account for you know, survivability, and it's the same with my Switch Axe. I could, I could get more damage out of my Switch Axe build, or I could keep it exactly where it's at, and have a point of earplug so that I never get knocked off during discharge, as well as a Vade Extender too, so I can get out of the way. Because at the end of the day, if you're dead, your DPS drops to zero. I could probably optimize this and get up to 31 shot per pullet, but once again, I'd be sacrificing things like a Vade Extender. I'd be sacrificing things like the health augmentation. Is this a two person only quest? No, it's a four. Let's get. Let's get some people. Let's get some people. I only got two. Yeah, you'll have to send me the that mod shotgun they got. Uh, do you have a set for cold paralysis? No, I don't run any paralysis sets. Oh, well, I used to. I used to have a paralysis hammer, but I don't use that set anymore. I don't. I haven't even made a hammer set for PC. Imagine that charge move is obnoxious, you dodge, he does 180, steer right for you, and hit you anyways. Alright, what, what, he's not even that bad, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check some shit here real fast. Need spread... Basically, spread three and spread two.
So your longsword build, I haven't gotten around to that one yet. That one's coming up. I'm going to update a bunch of these. What time is it? I do want to knock out that bounty tonight before a whole new week of stuff starts. 7.30, so I'll probably go for about another hour and a half. Then I think I will... Uh, I'll probably do a bounty, check out that, that RPG game. I have more raw damage sets. I have a lot of raw damage sets. I mean, I don't like my sets to be just pure raw damage, because that usually doesn't work out. So there's some sets where you're better off having earplugs, or you're better off having a bait extender, or, or whatever the case is. It is nice to have something with Weber and Snipe. Get off me, Angie. Dick. I feel like the reload would be better. Because it takes like a whole second off of that. That big dick levered snipe right there. No, I don't want to do that. No, take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Come on, take it out. I'm supposed to be doing this, this spread shot. So that is definitely a pretty fucking silly set. That does a lot of damage. Looking at the numbers, I did 36% of the damage of that hunt. Pretty good. Yeah, I had I had a good time reviewing that game. Pile of garbage. Screenshots of your sets? Who do you think I am? Can't I get out of here? No, I don't. I make YouTube videos, though. And they're on there. And I'll show them to you when I'm looking at them, but I do not have screenshots of them.
Air hammer or a different set? Um, I don't know. I haven't... I mean, I liked the idea of paralysis and hammer together just because it's like... KO into the paralysis, but... I don't know. Part of me likes the idea of a paralysis greatsword, like force them to stand still and then boop the shit out of them, but I feel there's better things to do with the greatsword than that. Alright, so this is good, I think. Sleepy time hammer? Nah. This is good. This is good, this is good. Swagamus will move up here, because that's good. Donger Woman. Alright, let's see. How to change this up. Ugh. Actually, some other things real fast. I'm going to do... Um, this is the uh, Switch Axe set for those that want to look at it. Quick, take your screenshot now. Alright, now, for Donger Woman, Handy 3 what we need? Yes. Oh boy, this is going to change a lot in a second. So attack 7, weakness exploit, we'll drop off evade extender. Um, let's see. Attack non-peak, weakness, active... On elemental boost is on there. I want handicraft at three, and then I want speed sharpening at one. And how about some agitator at like three? I think I could fit all that in. Start Dragon King Eye Patch. I'm getting a 322 value out of, so that's not bad. Here I'm getting that's piss poor value right there for what for protective polish and two attack boost. Handicraft, I need three, so that's gonna best be there. Uh, the Dober Greaves are. I need, um, I want to rally up some attack boost. I could go for, I could go for a Kolv combo. Get the, uh, the stun resist crit boost. That's always good. But in terms of just raw value here, I'm probably going to want that. Because three attack to peak performance is basically unbeatable. Um... And dragon don't need oh I could go let's see here one three L3 gen on a boost performance peak performance where's all my attack coming from alright let's do this but Attack, 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 attack. And flawless. That tool. Some of you terrible reviews on Steam. Really bad port. What do you say? Uh, Astra looks pretty correct here. It's just because they're behind a lot.
Alright, well this and this need to take those off. This is probably going to be my best value here, but I might as well... Go ahead and set in my tenderizer. So that, just now, we're sitting at... We got our handicraft, our weakness exploit. Our attack boost is almost covered. Peak is fully covered, and non-elemental is covered. So in terms of other things that I want to do here... Got... Ooh, I could work earplugs in pretty easily, actually. Would I want that, though? I want earplugs. Dude, fashion-wise, that looks fucking dope. But it's not what we want. Why not wait before a behemoth before updating builds, unless you're making builds for behemoth? Uh, because the Draken set is pretty much... I mean, there's, there's a few spots it can s slide on in, but... I mean, I can... Let me just... Let me just do my shit, man. Everyone's like, why aren't you... Just let me fucking make builds. Why does everyone always gotta fucking shove their shitty opinion in? Well, you should wait. Man, fuck you. I wanna build shit now. I like making builds. Let me build builds. I'll update it again when new sets come out, but until then I wanna fucking build stuff. Build stuff. Peak. Peak slot slot. That's peak. Slot slot slot. But there's better shit for gloves. Like we have the... Not you. We go wide range with a 3-2. 2-2. That's a 3... Three special ammo boost. Weird. If I go for Dante, that's weakness, weakness. And what helm would I want? Agium one, no. Recovery up and dragon, recovery focus. Vade two two. I don't really need a Vade with long sword. I already got the rolls. Edgy, edgy, free element, part breaker tool. It's divine. Divine and triple isn't bad, but not what I need. Yeah, this might this might need to just wait for uh for Draken. I got the two two there with health boost. Yeah, I have a bajillion items because it's PC, dude. Come on, common fucking sense here. Get with the program. Empress Greaves aren't a terrible choice for the two slot.
And if you've already farmed all this shit up on PlayStation, there's no point to farm it again on PC. I'm out. This guy's a bit too salty with chat. Dude. Bye. Or you know what? I'll make it easy for you. You come in acting like a dick. Gone. Shut your fucking mouth! Shut the fuck up, you cunt! You come in, you call out lurkers in my chat, then you get salty that I use mods on PC when I already have 400-some hours on console. Like, act like a fuckboy, get treated like a fuckboy. I always love that shit. People be like, I don't like this person. I'm going to leave. Like, bitch, no one cares. You don't need to announce your departure. Be gone. Nobody cared when you were here. Nobody cares when you're going to be gone. Very astonished to see actual salt. <laughs> All right. Oh, Christ. Idiots will be idiots, though, right? What are you going to do? All right, so we got attack seven, weakness three, handy three, peak three. Speed sharpening the non-elemental. The health boost is nice. I could work in three points of agitator, I guess. Just for even more. I'll be nine affinity. I really like five agitator, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> um Odyssey DLC is done. I'm pretty sure we wrapped it up already on the channel. Let's see something here. It's been a while since I've done Longsword, but I don't remember if we use a buttload of stamina. Yeah, we don't use stamina basically at all. What about maximum might? Making sure that I don't use any on my jumps or anything. Yeah, I think maximum might. That'll take us into the uh, guaranteed crit range. I mean, we've gotten some stuff on PC. Asked, we're getting uh, we're getting the the elder tempers and shit. Or I could go crit boost. So that's that's a potential. What do you guys think here? Wait, no, crit boost is crit boost a two or three. With where we're at, we have all of the basics, and we got three, eight, oh man, crit boost or max might. All right, well, time to punch out the equation. Let's go to the spreadsheet. All right, let's see. So if we're sitting at a value, let's let's see here. We're gonna go. Uh, Fine crit. Wait, do I? No, no. Hang on a second. Actually, I'm missing. I'm missing. Uh, um, you need to be. That I didn't have polish. I need polish. Oh boy. So ten to crit or twenty. Let's punch it in with a uh, ten crit. Versus 20 and see, math-wise, what we get. Nine crit, nine might. So if we're looking at session to join, ah, uh, there it is 8:32. Just type in exclamation point ID. 32, 8, 32. 
Uh, with might, my affinity, I'm at 5% from attack. Be at 25. So 0 0.25, otherwise 0 0.05. At 0 0.35 or 0.25. And crit seems to be better by a pretty large margin. Now, if we add... 7 to 884. What about if we add in the weakness exploit, though? What happens then? The weakness exploit factored into the equation. Crit boost comes out ahead. I think I would go the max might. I think maximum might would be better. How many characters you oh I got I got everything unlocked in Smash already. Tater Let me see this. Attack three. Not elemental, peak performance, protective polish. I'm checking to see something real fast. Attack 7, Handy 3, non-elemental peak, protective pop. Tips for avoiding Diablos' dig? Do you have a shield? Either You got two things. Either you can have a shield on, and you can just block when he comes up. That's the easiest. Otherwise, you can bring Screamer Pods. He's one of the few monsters that they do anything for. But if you shoot a Screamer Pod, he'll pop up out of the ground looking real stupid. And then you can just beat his ass. See if I can get maximum might level three here. Active polish is on. Yeah, I would screamer pods. Either that or just jump over him like a baller. <laughs> um, too many combinations. Fix some equipment. All right, Empress Mail is going to be fixed. Empress male beta fixed. Oh, come on, calculator. Damn it. Nothing found. What about crit boost 3? What about that? What about crit boost 3? Give me that crit boost 3. Let's see. Damn. Nothing. So this is as close as I could get, basically. So, with only two, it's really a question of one or the other. What about one crit boost and one bit of max might? Wonder how that would compare. Try that in a second once this spreadsheet stops freezing. I think that might be the max. Because, I mean, obviously, the higher crit you go, the less value crit has and the more value critical boost has. But this is also counting on your weakness exploit hits. Anytime you don't have weakness exploit, maximum might is much, much better. While weakness exploit is active, you're obviously getting more value out of critical boost. considering we have divine I mean more than likely I'm probably best off just going double maximum might just because of the the static crit that's gonna be worth it I think Presto King with that three month sheet that sub hype coming on in I've started to really rely on running wide range mushroom builds. <laughs> I mean, dude, everyone likes somebody like that in the group. Don't be shy about it. People people are always welcoming a sword and shield dude that's going to keep people alive. Especially with Behemoth coming up. Um, just want to take a look at the Empress real fast, too. We're getting what out of this bad boy? 693. 
And I would go razor sharp. I really want to do a razor sharp build. I think I did that with the new dual blades, and they were okay. And the, plus the slots on that, dude. Two level three slots. God damn. That's fucking sexual. The damage is kind of potato, but two level three slots and razor sharp. That's yummy. What is Behemoth going to give? Uh, the best armor set in the entire game. You basically just put the set on and you win. Like, that's how good it is. I mean, I'd say, I'd say minus having the Draken gear available, I think this is the best we're going to get out of Donger Man. 7 on attack boost, 3 on weakness exploit, handicraft at white, peak performance, health boost, maximum might, speed sharpening, protective polish, and non-elemental boost. Donger Woman, excuse me. I think my build is better. Well, I bet you're not on PC. Bring it on along, man. Bring the build on out, and let's see how it stacks up. Donger Woman knows no equal. She slaps down the long dong of the law. Damn, dude. Noob, you really gotta stop doing that, man. Like, it says in the rules, ask, like, do not post links without permission. And now you're timed out for fucking ten minutes for doing it. Now, I'm gonna turn off that timeout. But you need to stop doing that. You need to fuck... You need to... You need to get fucking permission, dude. Like, ask a mod for a permit if you're going to keep posting build links. Or, or better yet, put them in the fucking Discord or something. Getting PP slapped by the bot, man. It takes it takes a lot of work to get PP slapped. To have the bot time you out for 10 minutes, you may be the first person I've ever seen that happen to. You gotta... Come on, man. Get, get with the fucking program here. Is it worth having one speed sharp? So, pro tip here. If you have one point in speed sharp and you have wet fish fin plus, it counts as having three speed sharp. So instead of having to do three speed sharp, just use wet fish fins along with one point. And uh, you're basically, it, it's, it's, it's just better. You know, it costs one, you gotta get the fins. Definitely worth it. I doing what mission am I doing I think I had to go spank an Anjanath and I don't know what happened the monster hunter the the fucking Excel spreadsheet like broke I don't know why there we go I fixed it fine might all right let me let me punch these values one last time to go 832.65.31 I want to see what number it comes up with 994 oh man 994 not bad. That's not bad at all. 994 is higher than both of those. But what if we took out... What would it be? 0 0.15? 0 0.3? 16? 69. So, yeah. What the devil did you sell your soul to for enough fin for viable use? Oh, mods. <laughs> mods. This is why PC is better, dude. Like, check this out, right? This is... You want to see the glory of PC? This this is the glory of PC. The glory of PC is just having 9,999 ancient potions. Or 9,999 fucking jerky. Or dash juice. Or mega armor skin. Or mega demon drug. And just not farming that shit endlessly anymore. Because fuck you and your shitty RNG, Capcom. You know what, if they had given, after 500 hours, if I had been given one goddamn attack gem, maybe I wouldn't do all this. Maybe I'd still be on PlayStation. Maybe I would st I would be up to date with everyone else. But there's only so much bullshit one man can put up with before he says, fuck this. Anyway, I'm going to go grab uh, some water, and then we'll do another hunt.
at 1.3 thousand hours. I've got all the gems. Didn't stick with it long enough. Oh, man. My bad. Yeah, see, that's the thing, is there's the, the RNG, at the end of the day, what it comes down to is some people will get fucking attack gems really easy, other people will never see them, because the loot system is fucking seeded, and it's hot shit, and the fact that you can't meld gems that are basically required to really min-max your endgame builds, like, there's no reason for it. They could have, they could have let us meld attack gems, just make it expensive. Make it fucking two, three thousand points per melt. But there's no reason to say, oh, nope, you gotta get them RNG. No, no, that's bullshit. If the only way to get an item ever is just RNG, then fuck you. Like, that's why Diablo is my favorite grinding game, because there's multiple paths to try and get the item that you want. If you're trying to get one item in particular, it's one or, or you know, basically try and make that item perfect, like missing one is fixed on it, you can keep cycling just that is fixed. You can re-roll that if you get an item, but it's not ancient, you need an ancient version. You could spend materials and re-roll that one item over and over. It's expensive as fuck, but the point is there are routes. It's not pure RNG to get the ancient Big Dick version. You can just get a regular version and just keep spending mats to re-roll until it becomes ancient. Oh my god, we need to stop this shit. Oh, he's gonna run. Get back here, you broke ass bitch. Man, I'm not even gonna get my shit off. Fuck you, Anjanath, you little bitch. I hate fighting with a longsword in multiplayer, because I feel like you can never line up your your good shit. Like trying to line up a counter attack with longsword in multiplayer is cancer. Diablos has killed you six times, man. Just join the lobby and we'll help you. How about that? And someone actually captured him. Who captures this thing? Supposed to kill the engine now. I want Altrion before I want Gormagala.
Yeah, dude, just just make a Diablo quest. We'll come in. We'll spank Diablo. It's just a murder. Murder quest. Um, I gotta hunt two more Anginaths. Always capture. That's damage you don't have to do. Also, more materials. See, you say that, but what you're not counting is how much I enjoy murdering an Anginath. And we're on PC, so you know damn well that materials are not needed. I mean, aside from the actual reasons, like sometimes killing is better. The real reason is sometimes you just want to fucking murder an Anginath. You can't really put a price on just killing something. We don't have a capture hunt bounty, so all we have is a fuck up Angie four times bounty. Man, I mean, I don't particularly have any hard feelings against an Anginath either. It's just, you know, sometimes you just feel like murdering something. I see, we're going for that big dick start, okay. I mean, feels, feels a little bit overkill for an Angie, but, you know.
back here. You big ugly son of a bitch. Anybody here playing? I think are we all playing as waifus? He's not. Guys. Nice. Oh, mm, fuck you, man. That's why I hate Angie now. You're always clomping around and shit. Shit, was this a... Oh, god damn it. This was a capture quest. Fucking rip. <sighs> Fucking rip. Because the bounties are just hunt. Actually, it looks like I still got credit for that. Even though I failed, the hunt still counted. Weird, but okay. I'm going to swap things out here. Ranged, recoil, shield, shield, close, close. Give me the booty, I want the booty. Be ping. Three months in a row. Shit, you with the continued support of the booty chin. Speaking of the Booty Nation, we gotta discuss new emotes, y'all. What new emotes do we want? Well, I get this investigation up for folks. So, with the subathon, we obviously unlocked uh, some new emotes. I wanna say we got three. Let's see, I'm gonna check how many slots we got open now. Uh, yes, three emote slots. So, I think, I think the Goomba Cowboy is one, for sure. It's pretty hard to beat the Goomba, you know? Um, pay to win? I don't know if, if that makes sense as an emote. I want a bloody sword. Well, you don't even have a sub badge, so sorry to inform you that your opinion on the emotes isn't really that valuable here. You wouldn't even be able to use them.
You have a link for your Excel sheet or an example of how to make one to use for builds. Right, what are you what are you trying to do exactly? Because the spreadsheet I use just it's just it runs damage calculation. I think item prolonger for longer protective polish or speed sharpen for faster sharpening is better. I don't think power prolonger even affects protective polish to be honest. If it does, I'm unaware. Okay, stop all the dots. Or just fucking wake them up. Thanks, Mateo. Appreciate you putting out those two fucking balls in the middle of the team fight, waking them up when we were gonna sleep on them. chat, you should never be using that ability when you're in a group hunt with the bow. Because one, you'll ruin sleep bombs. Two, it can trip up your teammates. Just don't do it. It is a solo bow hunting thing. Similar to how I shouldn't be using cluster bombs when in group hunts. But since we're doing things that we're not supposed to do, I don't really care. I mean, it, it, it can work in multi, but the thing is, the the knockout value in multiplayer is so high that the balls are more disadvantageous than they are helpful. That Angie Jam... Girotodos. I'm gonna fight Girotodos. Shotgun mode, I think.
Diablo Sledge or Baroth Mallet? What are you using it for? Baroth Mallet has really good paralysis. If you want raw damage, you might as well do Diablos. Gotta eat, eat, eat. Eat up the meat. Second here, I need them. Got them my bugs, pull on out. Got them bugs, pull on Manage. Trank ammo, man. Trank ammo. Why does your cat look like a dominatrix? It looks like a luchadore. Where the hell? What kind of dominatrix dresses up as a Mexican wrestler? Where the hell are you finding your dominatrixes? Assure you that in Mexico, dominatrices do not dress up like luchador. Can't handle arch tempered Santa. Just pulls out a big ass bag of coal and slams you in the face with it. Look here and smile. Come on, turn around. Turn around. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> got it. Suck on my shot. He's dead.
Builds on YouTube haven't been updated in a while, but most of them are still viable. boy with the gem. I mean, I did do the build updates. I think that was round dragon, maybe? Anyway, let me look at another build. Updating the dual blades. The boom boom dual blades. So these, I mean, this set really, this this needs to have uh, fucking Zora to update. I need, I need uh, the updated Zora. Because this set's all about getting access to... Uh, this is a fun set, just doesn't, you don't get the damage you need. Here, we're trying it with this. Number damage difference. Let's see. Um, my longsword build is optimized already. Thank you, though. Art grinder. Hack. Uh, tenderizer. I need that for tenderizer. Over Greaves, I can swap out with something. Over, I could use um that. Grinder and Maybe... With due respect from what I saw, it's not optimized. Well, I mean, with due respect, you're wrong. Welcome to be wrong. Lots of people are wrong. For that, or you misunderstand what optimization means. Like that on dual blades, it's fun. Razor sharp, protective polish, affinity, speed sharpening, blast attack. Fortify, peak performance, attack boost. I mean, without having the Draken set available, right now our Longsword set has Attack Boost at 7, it is Weakness Exploit at 3, it is Handicraft at 3, which is what you need for White Sharpness, it is Peak Performance at 3, it is Maximum Might at 2, 1 point of Speed Sharpening to couple with the Wet Fish Stones, Protective Polish, and Non-Elemental Boost. This is literally the best possible longsword build you could get damage wise in the game right now with the gear available in the game without access to dragon it's not going any higher than that the only alternative would be to use critical boost in place of maximum might and critical boost is only going to do uh, more damage if you have uptime on your uh, what's it called weakness exploit anytime you're not hitting with weakness exploit you'll end up doing more damage because of maximum might from 30 Three, three, twenty-two. 
see how much harder other stuff is hitting. I saw your build, it's the same, but mine has more defense. I don't know how you have more defense without having just different gear altogether. Um, let's see, well, I don't know. I get the 10 affinity, minus 10 affinity. The blast is slightly higher, but that's the build up, I believe. I mean, and regardless, the build's gonna change once the Draken armor's out. I think I would use these over the bagel, just because I can have the peak performance here. Now I have armor charms. So. Peak performance. So that's an extra 15 attack I'm getting compared to... And I have a lot more white sharpness. I wouldn't actually... I don't need the handicraft at all. Where do I have handicraft in? I'm getting handicraft for some gear. Oh. This is fun with the sharpness. Yeah, and we get razor sharp too. I really like those, but they're just not that good. I think I will use it because I'm getting the peak performance and I basically I'm losing a little bit of damage but in exchange I'm getting peak performance 20% more crit and razor sharp I think that makes this worth it this isn't going to get much better until I get the gamma Valhazak gear How many Jirototos do I gotta kill? Like four? What time is it anyway? I gotta knock out that bounty before I wrap up for the night. Got like 20 minutes of hunts. I gotta do three Jirototos. Yikes. Alright. Seven five four four. Getting these numbers from man. I feel like there's something wrong with your, your thing because Divine Slasher is the highest damaging longsword. Like going in for a longsword 
if you're trying to do a build without fine slasher, you're not going to be able to hit higher damage. Making raw damage sacrifices. Just getting done the uh, the weekly quest is all. Monster Hunter's main story will take you, oh god, I don't know, 30 or 40 hours probably. game's real time sync is the fuck. I mean if you're buying if you're buying Monster Hunter just for the main story, you're kinda doing it wrong. I mean it's it's fun, but to be honest, this game doesn't even start until like fifty hours in. That's when you start putting together sets and maximizing
One more to your Todos. I can get this any better. Probably can. I don't know. I got two piece Empress, Lava Seath. Oh. Tank, weak constitution, peak, special ammo, normal, piercing, spread, charge plus, non elemental. It's a lot of fucking boat oomph. Dunk on this thing. Oh no! I whiffed.
be done with Monster Hunter in another hunt or two. And then I got a bounty to check out a game called Vindictus. It's some MMO where you run around fighting monsters and shit, so... I'm gonna knock that out, and then I'll wrap out right after the bounty. Well, when I say monsters, I don't mean, like, typical bullshit, like you're fighting, like, I don't know. They're fighting, like, werewolves and vampires or something, and there's grappling mechanics. I don't know. It looked interesting enough to check out. Yeah, it came out a while ago, but I guess they, they recently did, like, a big update to it or something. I mean, they had to have some kind of push, otherwise they wouldn't be throwing it up into Twitch bounties, so... Whatever, I'll check it out for an hour. If it sucks, it sucks. If it's decent, then great. That means you have all of the free decks now, Syrup. The last day you get free decks, you get all five. You should have one of each combination. Anyway, what happened to the kid that needed help with Diablos? We should do that to wrap up, I think. This is this is basically this so this is good, 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 good spinning pickle. This needs an updating, but with buying gear for AC Odyssey, no. I didn't buy any gear. I think I bought... I still need one more Jura kill. Do I really? Uh, I do. One more Jira Totos. This, this, let's see. I gotta see what else I need to update still. Um, I'll put on this. This needs upgrading. The Great Sword is... Which I'll play with this since I haven't run it yet. I like this... That one's not bad. This one's not bad, and then it's all my elemental sets. Which every single elemental set needs to be updated. Sword and Shield needs to be updated. This one's not bad. The earplugs, attack force, stun resist three, weakness exploit peak, crit boost, speed sharp, protective polish, non-elemental. I could probably two two one out of that. Instead of peak performance, I'd probably take the Val here. This is, this is my peak performance. Uh, speed sharp and protective polish. Let's go with the Val Hazak Reeves here. They probably have the stuff in already. Um. Um, back to polish. Players attack. Yeah, I think this is probably good. You can probably go where it's at. Ugh, Greek Geek coming in with that sub hype. As I'm yawning, what a great time. Welcome to the Booty Nation. Actually, I might be able... I think I know a way to make this better. So this is... Plug earplugs. It's 3331. That's good value. That's... 223... of 
earplug earplug and weakness exploit and attack I don't know that that's really high value if you want earplugs to be honest I was thinking I could go here and then slot in double peak performance but then I'm working in a vate extent yeah I, I think I need to keep this I was thinking I can go like three earplug in the necklace uh, I could swap and jab around. I don't know. There's probably a better way to do this. I'll play magic, not tonight. Maybe a different time. You made a booty. I want the booty. Super like back action, play through CB. Yeah, dude, game is pretty done. Pretty, pretty dope. So, um, I have a Girototos. Someone want to put up a Girototos? Right, I'm going to punch this set into my calculator and see if I can find a better combo. Bugs 5. Stun resist 3. Peak I have critical boot craft. Don't need any handicraft. Take off the handicraft. And I'd like to have critical boost three over performance even. Crit boost would be ideal with this. Am I getting where did I slot in the performance? Doc Reeves is one. Oh, the necklace, the necklace, of course. Uh, I don't have a Gunlance build on PC right now. I'll be making them, though, soon, now that I have the cool stuff. Oh, so, yeah, I could... Oh, wait, oh, that's right, Critical Boost Gem only gives you one point. Fucking bullshit. Ugh, um... I could, where could I swap things? Mm. Attack here, if I went for earplugs in, uh, if I did earplugs in the you made a next booty, slot. I want the booty. Cinderend. Earplugs in the next slot. Thank you for that sub hype. That'd be three there. I would drop this. I'd get two there. This becomes crit boost. And then, Bagel Coil, instead of Crit Boost, Crit Boost, and whatever that is, non-elemental, go non-elemental, be that, non-elemental, non-elemental, Protective Polish, and then Crit Plugs. Full, sharp, elementless, critical. Earplugs, attack force, stun, crit, boost, weakness, exploit, recovery, peak, speed, protective, non elemental. Both fire, beta.
And this can get a lot better once I get like uh, Draken Greaves and shit. I can make this even stronger. Or if I can, let me see if I can somehow get peak level 3. Bagel Helm Beta seems the way to go though for what I'm trying to do here. Alright, well, I'm fine with this. I'll, I'll take the crit boost over the peak performance. Attack's done. Yeah, I like that a lot. Sure. We don't want to capture it. Just want to murder it. Make the chest like a blue? Man, what an ugly absolutely terrible looking set of armor I don't match anything like this is probably some of the worst fashion I think I've ever had but it could be worse I suppose yeah I gotta I'll, I'll look into them I want a transmog mod but I don't want to do the the one that has to run in the background well, it's how that you just set it up, and it's just like fire and forget, basically. She looks like if Zelda was a fat stripper. All right, one, she looks nothing like Zelda at all. Two, she's not fat. So I'm gonna need you to calm down with your weird eighth grade insults. She's not even thick. What are y'all talking about? She's thick. No, she's fucking not. Are you kidding me? Hmm. You can't even, it's not even possible to make a character fat in Monster Hunter. Imagine being that uncomfortable with your own body that you need to try and make fun of the artificial Monster Hunter character. You can mod to make the handler a chubby girl, but I'm just saying. The characters can't be fast, so they must have some fucked up perceptions. So that or you're just a basic troll.
The only reason melee weapons seem clunky is because every other game you're spoon-fed melee combat. In this game, everything is very deliberate. You're using this sword like this. There's a fuck ton of weight. You can't just be like, wah, and, and immediately turn around and fucking blah, 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 because that doesn't make sense. You're using a sword as big as you. You're putting literally all of your fucking weight behind that swing. See, look, y'all think this is thick? For real? This is thick? Y'all got some warped ass perceptions of women if you consider this thick. This isn't, this isn't fat. This isn't even thick. No, no, she is not thick. I got some fucked up perceptions of what people should look like. Hmm. I gotta update the spinning pickle build. Like honestly, every person in this chat that's like, "Yeah, she a thick girl. How I like them." Y'all need to get off the internet and go try to interact with an actual human. Let me update. I'm gonna update this set. What does this set need? This set runs a little bit of handicraft. It probably only needs one though. This set just needs like attack. Handicraft. I like I like I don't know. I like I might go back to like the super fucking guard build that blocked everything. That was pretty fun. I gotta do this fucking bounty, though. We might have to do just more Monster Hunter this week. I mean, we got, we do, we're gonna be doing it Friday, but I wanted to update. So, every single one of these Insect Glaive sets need updating. But, at the same time, they'll probably all just become Draken once Draken's out. This needs to be updated, but I'm not worried about it. This. I don't know, what do I want to do for... Because I do need some white. Actually, and how, how does the lance compare?
or 14. That's pretty low. But it does have blast, and it's going to have that, and it's going to have... See, Razor Sharp, I feel like, would be really good here because of how fast you burn through stuff with it. And it has innate white, so it's 414, and I wouldn't have to worry. Ugh, 414. Sheet DPS compared to... 529? Fuck, it's like over 100 damage. The, the Fiendish Tower got it has that spinning dildo of doom bonus to it. I don't know. I did like having the the guard set though. Let me change some stuff here. I would probably want this for the peak performance. I know I'm tempted to, to partially go back. Work in a dragon attack thing. Go for the, the Valhazak Gamma Jam again. That level 3 recovery speed. Lots out the ass. Three, two, and dragon attack. I would keep what I have, I think. Then I could go Dragon King Eye Patch. We'll slot in the weakness exploit. Attack, 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 attack. Attack, seven. Peak 3, Recovery 3, Weakness 3, Speed Sharp. Come on, where's, uh, where's guarding stuff? Unscathed, I don't need that. What do I even need? I think I would need. Could go handy three. No, I need one point on handicraft somewhere. I think that's white. Yeah, it is. This, I'd want a uh, guard up because fucking lull. And then, um, guard. Guard. One peak performance here. We got oh wow, we have too much peak performance going on. So we definitely don't need it fucking there. So we got two peak, one peak. Damn it, that's bad. I don't want these. Ah fuck. But if I don't have those, then I can't have my Valhazak super vitality, which is fucking bonkers good. A wasted peak performance. Ah. Uh, um, mm. Covery up. Store amount of health. No, it's not that good. Don't need recovery up. You got your two peak and then three attack. I give you the Val. What are you getting at? You're getting one peak and the recovery up. Not needed.
we need the three little slots. The alternative is the, the Valhazak Gamma, where I'd be missing out on the little slots, and instead I'd pick up, what was it, a buttload of dragon attack? I don't need that much dragon attack. My weapon can't take advantage. God, why would they take a Gamma piece and put three fucking dragon attack on it? It's so dumb. But I would get the three and the two slot. Where is the... I need the necklace with block. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, so where's the, where's the fucking guard thing at? There it is. God damn it. I could probably still pull this off. Iron wall. Iron wall. That's well, I'm at four guard right now. I'd really, I mean, four guard is plenty, but five guard is just like fucking lull. Just shuts it down. But. I really need, if I'm gonna run anything into attack, I want attack at four, because otherwise, is it like it's not even fucking worth it. So right now, got my two peak. And my one peak. Okay, so I'm not wasting out on the peak performance now. And I'm sacrificing out. I could have attack at seven. But instead of having attack at seven, got a three and a two. What would we want? Oh, this would be better, yeah, because we're going to want. We're going to want to have sharpness we don't have and you know what I think we're gonna do I think we're gonna go for fucking mind's eye because nothing is more irritating than bouncing with a lance you're like this motherfucker I like that attack at four dragon attack at four isn't needed but whatever it's a fill in guard at four recovery speed at three weakness at three peak performance at three the handicraft to put us into the white sharpness the speed sharp level three Mind's eyes so we don't bounce. Guard up and protect to polish. And give this a blue hue? Not really. That's okay. The set doesn't look terrible. I threw the tank engine. I think it looks, uh, I think it looks pretty fucking brutal. I mean, that's a pretty stacked loadout for Lance. Like there's we've we fit a lot of very offensive options in while still maintaining guard up and guard level four. Like our our baseline affinity is at ten. And then the impossible to bounce is gonna just make it yummy.
Why not work an Elder Seal? It's pointless. We have a high Elder Seal already. Why do we need an Elder Seal gem? Not gonna add anything. Like, I'm just gonna go murder a Diablos real fast. And then uh, swap things from there. Might as well do the, the big Diablos. Flying solo on this one. Good luck, Pard! Pard! Diablo is gonna get its ass beat. I didn't see it go over there. how fast we can get our uh between the super recovery and then the plus recovery and the health augment like just attacking gets us back to full super super fast you don't have to fight AT Luna for temporal it's just regular Luna ooh Ooh. Oh, I'm dead, dude. He's about to stun me. He's going to kill me. No, he's going for the cat instead. My lord. What are the chances? Look at the fucking health. 
Every single poke is like a little potion. <laughs> Protective polish comboed with uh, Mind's Eye is going to make for the spiciest drills. Come on, get on the ground. Give you this big thrust. Boom! Oh no, you got up way too soon! Too soon! Sharpness drop in, it doesn't matter, I can't bounce. Think she's running. That's right, I found uh I found Diablos' dildo, and now I'm just fucking her up with it. She thinks she's slick. She thinks she's gonna come out of here and then reappear, and I'm not gonna notice her. She thinks she bamboozled me, but right in the pussy! Lance set turned out. This is pretty good. Diablo's got spanked. I mean, there's not too much that's new. It's basically we've just we've just gotten some of the shit that's been. Uh, we're finally starting to see Arch tempered, so we're you know we're making our way, uh, getting the stuff that we've been waiting for on PC for a while. Ugh. get this Vindictus game turned on. Want to get it I'm booted up and all that before I swap. Sure, I can get it to work. Um, while I'm booting this up, are there any sets people want to look at? I'll go through the sets 
real fast. Just for folks that to see them. Right, this is the switch X set. It says it launched, but it clearly did. Uh, this happened here. Am I missing an attack boost from? Hang on a second. I need to. That have a slot in it? it does ha? Huh. Well, anyway, these two are basically identical. Only difference here really is go for um, piercing shots and then spread shots and non-elemental over here. And to get that non-elemental, you sacrifice maximum might. Bow set, which is probably one of the spicier ones. Palico Rally set with wide range of mushroom mance for people who can't solo AT yet. Palico Rally set with wide range? That sounds like it would not work at all. I mean, I guess it would. It would just take ages. Um, there's the long sword set. Current great sword set. The great sword one is really nice. The fashion, not so much, but the set itself is just ready to smash. And this was the lance. No, wait. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. It didn't save my delay. Oh, man. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We had. I gotta re put it together. Son of a bitch. We had that. We had Val Y. And. Val. And then Val. And then you were guard. Yes, that's it. Okay. There we go. That's the new spinning pickle set. 